What's up my friends, I'm Harv, I'm a videographer, and on this channel I make videos about videography. In this video, I'm checking out the brand new Lightroom inspired slider plugins from Eric Lenz Photography. I reviewed the very first version of this when it came out, and I really liked it, and it's been in my plugin chain ever since. Since then, Eric reached out and he kind of just asked what I would like to see in Final Cut, and I gave him a monster list of features that I believe that Final Cut is missing. And since then, dear God, he's been busy. In my opinion, this is a must-have plugin for Final Cut users, particularly if you're a hybrid shooter. Let me show you what's up. But before that, this video has a giveaway, and Eric has really kindly donated a copy of the Professional Suite, which is the bundle with everything in it, and you can win that via my non-profit Patreon. On top of that, I also managed to get you a 10% code off everything that Eric sells, including his amazing EOS Alpha lookup tables, which I reviewed recently. The code is halve, use it at the checkout. It's inexpensive to be a backer, just the cost of a cup of coffee, so if that appeals, if you like giveaways and these videos help you, do check it out, it's all below. So the first version of the Lightroom Controls plugin brought us the basic sliders that you get when editing your photos in Adobe Lightroom. It wasn't perfect, I had some user interface niggles. The HSL sliders, if used too aggressively, can create some banding, and I think it was just missing a few features, things like the clarity slider. But overall, I was really impressed with it, and it stayed in my plugin chain as the very first instance ever since then. Oh, and by the way, if you bought the original one, you get this update for free. That's really good. I've been checking out the new professional suite, which includes everything from the Lightroom control bundles and color utility bundles. This new version barely resembles the first incarnation. I mean, the bones are there for sure, but the list of new functions is kind of mind-blowing. The headline for me is you get those texture, clarity, and dehaze sliders, but so much more as well, and I'll go through all of those in just a minute. One thing that I found amazing is the value. At the time of filming, the Lightroom Controls bundle is $35, so that gives you a lot, and obviously, you know, you, you get the update if you've bought the original. I'm looking at the Professional Suite, which is the Everything bundle, as I mentioned. However, I think it's worth mentioning, there are lots of really good free plugins from Eric Lenz, so at the very least, I would say definitely head over and just get those. There's honestly too many plugins you get here to show you all in one video. It would be probably over an hour long and I don't want that. <laughs> But let me show you a few of my favorites now. Firstly, a free plugin that's really cool, and that's the renameable adjustment layer, which is for adding effects, and it's completely free. It's really cool that you can rename the layers too. That just gives you more options for your workflow. So once you've installed these, you can find them in the effects browser under color utilities, Lightroom controls, and of course, professional suite if you've gone for that bundle. The remainder of the plugins you'll find in the titles browser under color utilities. So I want to take a quick look at one of these titles based plugins and it's the exposure check tool. Now this is something that's straight from Lightroom and it's brilliant. I've dropped it on our footage and we can see that any highlights that are too bright are going to show up as red and any shadows too dark they're going to show up as blue and we can see just down here I've got some shadows that are a little too dark. So of course I can just head straight into the basic controls and make a small adjustment to the black and boom, sorted. Another really cool plugin is the False Colors plugin, much like you could find on a camera monitor. This is so useful for judging the exposure of your skin tones. For example, for this subject, I probably want to aim somewhere in the region of 60 to 80%. And as you can see on this clip, we've got some highlight areas at around 90%. So again, I can just head into our basic controls and do a little exposure tweak just to bring it down a bit. And now we can see most of her face is around 70% IR. How cool! The Professional Suite has this crazy plugin called LUT Mixer, and at first glance I thought this was just to A, B your favourite lookup tables. And of course you can use it that way, but in theory you can keyframe blending between two lookup tables. What? And here's the result when we do this. As you can see it's slowly fading into a different lookup table. I'm not sure what applications I would choose for this, but it's kind of cool. Kind of cool that may be, but are you ready now to see something seriously cool? I've got this shot and I just kind of want to 
to remove these boys that you can see in the background just to make the shot a bit cleaner and for this I'm going to use the clone stamp tool I've dropped it on our clip and the first thing to do is to create a shape mask of course it needs to be a tracker adjust the size and then drag it over the object hit analyze to track the object and then all we need to do is change the X and Y sliders to create that illusion of it disappearing and boom I repeated the steps so I could get rid of the other boy in the distance and so I started with this and ended up with this and with these tweaks from the clone stamp it looks much cleaner now let me quickly show you the presence tools i.e the texture dehaze and clarity sliders they're pretty cool so in final cut now and you can see i've loaded an instance of our presence controls and we've got texture clarity and dehaze tools to use at the beginning of our plugin chain you can see i've got one instance of the basic controls which is just doing a slight exposure adjustment and then i've just popped in a lookup table and it's eric lenz's excellent eos alpha lookup table they give you a really good facsimile of canon color for sony cameras i reviewed them recently love them and i managed to get a discount code if you're interested in snapping these up, just use the code HAV at checkout, you're welcome. Starting with texture, and the one thing I'd say about all three of these sliders is you have to be delicate with them. Texture all the way up just looks nasty, and all the way down looks really quite dreamy, which I suppose is very faithful to the way they are on Lightroom. Of course you can use the texture dial to increase the detail, however this scene was shot on an a7 IV, which is a camera that gives a very detailed image anyway, so I'm actually going to dial it down a bit just to give a touch of natural softening. The clarity exactly as it is in Lightroom, dial up all the way and it's pretty extreme looking. Striking, sure, but definitely not what I'm looking for in this scene. It also reacts the same way as it does in Lightroom when you dial it all the way down and it gives you that kind of dreamy look. For me, the sweet spot is up to maybe plus 20 and down to minus 20. Dehaze, again, as with Lightroom, is not something that you would dial all the way to 100 or all the way to minus 100. You're gonna use it subtly, and all I wanna do here is just bring back a little bit of the hazy background, and that's just about enough. So looking at the before and after, I think you can agree this really adds a certain something to this image. It's just a little bit more striking for what really should be a very striking looking scene. I love these new presence controls. Other than the other tools that I featured in this video which are kind of my favorites there are so many more in the professional suite but actually in all of the plugin bundles certainly more than I would have time to go through in this video but there's some really interesting other plugins to get your teeth into now it's time for the pros and cons and I'm gonna start with the pros because I'm a glass half full kind of guy so firstly the pros and you get so many tools value is off the scale with these plugins regardless of which bundle you choose they're really perfect for hybrid stills first video second shooters who are most comfortable with Adobe Lightroom. I especially like the highlight and shadow sliders. I actually prefer the way these work to the standard highlight and shadow controls in the color wheels in Final Cut. And the Lightroom control plugins sit at the beginning of my grading chain for every single project. All the plugins go deeper than I thought was possible in Final Cut, almost like they unlock new grading potential. They're also really unique. Eric's approach is different to most other plugin producers, and the result is some really well conceived, thoughtful tools. Texture, dehaze, and clarity sliders. Need I say more? And then onto the cons. And as there are so many tools, there's going to be some degree of surplus to requirement for, I would say, the majority of people. So you will be paying for a few plugins you might not use. But then again, the price is so great for what you get. Who cares? Some of the plugins are sensitive. And if you start stacking them and being too aggressive, they can start to break your color grade if you're not careful, particularly if you're color grading 8-bit footage. It's a very manual process when using these. It would be good to see presets or when appropriate, an auto button like you get on Lightroom to get you started. I'd still love to see the same reset to zero feature when you double click on the slider. This would just make this plugin feel even more authentic. I actually mentioned this in my first review and I think if Eric could have done this, he would have introduced it, but I don't think it's that simple. Help guides within each plugin would be really appreciated. You know what I'm talking about? Some plugins have a little tick box where if you check it, some text appears on screen to give you guidance. I don't want to create work for Eric, but I feel like it would be a really nice touch and would help people to get the most out of each plugin. Finally, to my opinion, and I really liked the first version of Eric's Lightroom Controls bundle, 
and the new version is just so much more, particularly if you go for the professional suite. That had a few flaws and it seems Eric has addressed almost all of them. Like I said, there might be a little bit of option paralysis because you just, you just get so much. I'd also say with some of them, it's not always that obvious the way they're going to affect your footage. But then when you do, you can really see that they're quite powerful tools. They're crazy good value, they're super unique, and who wouldn't want that clarity slider plus all the rest? Anyway, that's it for now, and I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. My question of the day for you is this. If you could add one feature to Final Cut, what would it be? In the comments section, I'd be really interested to know your thoughts. I've now filmed hundreds of videos about video and audio on this channel, of which YouTube has recommended this video for you to watch next, and the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.